when i say that there is scope in the food industry when i say that there is scope for food technologists for food science students in the food industry what i mean by that is how are you doing today this is ari varshad and you are watching food tech simplified where i make simple and easy to understand lectures videos and tutorials and guidance videos for you so that you can excel in your academics so that you can level up your grades and simplify your studies so recently i have got a few comments on my channel some of my on some of my videos that uh, there is the salary of the food technologist or in the food industry is very less and someone also commented that there is no scope in food technology and i, I was really shocked at the fact when someone is saying that food technology has very less scope i mean how is this possible because if you look at the statistics if you look at look at the data that has been provided by the government and a lot of bodies like IBEF and there are a lot of bodies that have provided some data and i think ministry of food processing industries has have provided data that and which have shown essential growth in the food industry which have shown essential employment employment generation and when someone says that there is no scope i mean you can say that there is less salary because i i totally accept the fact that in the beginning years of a food technologist as a fresher the salary can be a small amount it can range from 3 to 5 lakhs per annum and yes and a lot of you have also asked that what is the salary range so for a fresher it it usually ranges from 3 to 5 lakh per annum it can vary it also depends on a number of factors it can depend on the college placements on your caliber also it can depend on the industry in which you are going it can depend on the job profile that you are going for but there is no scope i mean that is, that is just i mean that was just that comment was out of the world i'm not going to take the name of that person but let me just clarify one fact when i say that there is scope in the food industry when i say that there is scope for food technologists for food science students in the food industry what i mean by that is that those students who have the caliber who have the determination who want to excel in the food industry only for those students there is scope what does that mean i thought i i, I could just go into food industry i thought i could just take a course in food technology and i uh, there is good scope you told me that arif no i didn't meant that i what i meant was there is scope in food technology if you work on yourself there is scope in food technology if you keep learning if you develop your skills if you develop your mindset i hope you are getting me because you know uh, there is actually scope in every branch not just food technology there is scope in computer sciences there is scope in it there is scope in mechanical civil you name it but there is scope for the students for the people who are willing to work on themselves who are willing to grow who are willing to grab opportunities see it's easier to say that yeah i will work on myself i will do hard work but how many of us actually implement it how many of us actually take action you already know that so the important thing here the important point here that i'm trying to make is that there is scope in food technology there is scope in food industry but only for those who will work hard on themselves it's not about the college a lot of students are also asking me that which college is the best and which offers the best placement and which is the, what what is the highest package and what are the placement rate see i have already told you the best colleges the government colleges like cftri ifpt and uh, niftem these are three some of the these are three of the best uh, food engineering or food technology colleges in india but let's just say that the competition is too high and you could not get into these colleges for some reason these institutes for some reason and there is some average kind of institute or college that you have got admission into so you still not need to lose hope i think because your development i mean your mindset and your development it does not depend on the college it depends on you the 
amount of knowledge that you are going to gather from all the colleges throughout the country uh, is going to be more or less the same. The content they are providing in BTEC or in BSc, that is going to be the same throughout. But what you have in your hand is your own self-development, your skill development. And by skill, I just don't mean HACCP or something like that. Skills also include soft skills like communication skills, maybe presentation skills. Maybe you have a good, good presentation skill. Maybe you are uh, very fluent in talking in some other language like French or German. I'm just giving you an example. So the point is the college, yes, college matters. But what matters even more, I think what matters the most is your mindset and what you want to do with yourself in your free time in your college time. See, the professors and the faculties are going to teach you and they may teach you well, they may not teach you well, but your self-development is in your hands. In the same fashion, your salary, the job profile that you're going for is in your hands. So make sure you work on yourself. There is scope in food technology, but only for those who work on themselves. See, there are a lot of job opportunities waiting for, you know, candidates who are determined, who are willing to make it big. And it's not like that the uh, food technology has very less scope because I have provided already data in my video 13 reasons why you should pursue food technology in India. And see, the scope is good, the scope is very high and the scope will keep on increasing. At the end of the day, it comes down to you that what you are doing with your life. What, what are you going to do with your life and how you are going to develop yourself, how you are going to increase your skills, how you are going to utilize your time. So at the end of the day, that it comes down to this and try to utilize the time. Uh, right now, I am sitting in FSSI's conference room and I am utilizing the time and the resources so try to utilize the time. Try to utilize the resources that you have. Anyways, so I will leave you here. And if you found something useful here today, so make sure you give the thumbs up. If you thought this was crap, give it a thumbs down. I want to know if this was crap. And comment down below if you found this video to be resonating with you. If you found that, yeah, really, we, there is scope, but I need to practice on myself. I need to work hard on myself. Comment down below if you really believe that. Because I really believe that that college makes a difference, but college at the end of the day depends on you. At the end of the day, there is scope in every branch, but it depends on you how much you are willing to do. Anyways, make sure you have subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon as well. And I will see you in the next video. Class dismissed.